I'm here with Ryan Holinski, quarterback at Olu. Ryan, thank you for joining us today. Absolutely, I'm excited to be here. First off, congratulations on committing. Thank you. The South Carolina Gamecocks got a big commitment from you. What kind of energy and process went into making that decision? You know, it was a, it was a big family decision for sure. Um, I remember visiting during their spring game, and I visited once before that too. Um, and we just went to Hawaii after that, um, and we visited this lighthouse where we buried my brother with his ashes, spread him out in the Pacific Ocean. Um, and it was just kind of a question that I asked him. I was like, hey, I feel good about South Carolina. What do you think, Ty? And um, one thing led to another, and I was committed, and I've been solid as ever. You had an emotional moment after your first touchdown of the season this year. What did that mean to you? Uh, I honestly didn't think it was going to be that emotional, um, but once I threw it, you know, I just looked up to the sky and I did my touchdown celebration, which is three to the chest, and um, it just flooded over that. But it was pretty amazing because I know my parents are just happy and uh, they kind of got over a hump after that first game. So um, we're all just fi trying to find peace, um, but it was definitely a big moment for me. You had an outstanding junior season, and now that you're committed, what are you going to do to keep that momentum going into your senior year? Yeah, I mean, we've got a great group of seniors here, um, second year into Coach Presley as well, second year into Coach Crawford too, um, which is amazing. And we've got Kyle Ford, Logan Loyal, all these great receivers, two tight ends that are committed to Pac-12 schools, and JoJo Hawkins. And um, it's just going to be fun to see, you know, how well we gel together under the second year offense. And I'm super excited to see. And I'm just going out there and having fun, win some ball games after that. You're staying off Twitter this season. Mm -hmm. uh, there was Jake Bentley, who's a quarterback there at South Carolina this year. Um, I saw a tweet that he said he was logging off of Twitter. And I remember meeting him at the spring game. Um, and he was just one of those kids that you know just wanted to do his best for the community around him. And he didn't care what it took. If he needed to get it off Snapchat, off of Instagram, off of Twitter, um, that's what he was going to do. And that's what I did. So uh, I'm just looking to focus on season. And all that stuff can come at the end. You broke a ton of records at Olu here last year. What did that mean to you? And what kind of legacy are you trying to leave behind? Yeah, there's a lot of alumni coaches here. Um, and Olu was once a great program. And we're trying to restore it to what it once was. And all these coaches have, have been here when they beat the Boscos in the modern days and when they were in that top you know, three spot. So we're just trying to bring it back. Um, and starting with the records is pretty amazing because I know a lot of great quarterbacks have come through this um, school. And I know my quarterback coach, Coach Blake Cockhawk, was one of those guys. So I'm just trying to live up to what they built here um, and just continue it. And lastly, what major attributes do you think you're going to bring to South Carolina? Just a leadership position. You know, um, if you go in there and you're a quarterback, they recruited you for a reason. So you just throw the ball, but you got to bring that extra aspect of leadership, being the role model for the guys and, and just leading them into battle every Saturday. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you. We wish you the best of luck this season. I appreciate season. it.